Spurs here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Climb Carlsbad jacket and pants available at Revzilla.com. So what we're gonna see is an upgraded version of the Carlsbad. Remember, when this was released, it was really aimed at the off-road focused adventure rider that still wanted waterproof protection, but they were spending the majority of their time off-roading with their larger adventure bikes. We're gonna see some really key updates to this. Pricing has changed slightly. The jacket has gone from around the $550 mark up to around the $600 price point. Pants have stayed the same right around the $500 price point. Keep in mind, Revzilla does have that price match guarantee. And as we work our way through this, you're getting some really key upgrades for that small $50 bump in price. Now, if you're looking at this jacket setup, chances are you're looking through some other pieces in Climb's line. Keep in mind, if you're watching this video and you're spending really the majority of your time on the road with your adventure bike, and you wanna still want something around the same price point, check out the Climb Latitude jacket. You're getting a lot of that adventure creature comfort, but really for more street riding. If you're looking at this and you really don't have a place for waterproof protection, I would check out the Climb uh, Baja S4. That's a new one that they've really come out with. It's a full mesh adventure setup. Very beefy in nature, but a lot more stretch and off-road focused riding where you're not dealing with waterproof protection. And then if you wanna take a bump up, take a look at the Climb Badlands Pro. That's gonna take you up into really one of the beefier options that Climb has on the market, one of the beefiest options that anyone has in the market for you know dedicated street and off-road adventure riding. There's a lot of different options within Climb. And what we're gonna do right now is break down the Carlsbad, what you can expect from an upgrade standpoint over the previous version, and really the reason you would get this is you are doing some crazy off-road riding with your adventure bike, you're still spending some time on the street, and you want Gore-Tex waterproof protection. Now, from a sizing standpoint, nothing has changed. I have got Smiley Pants McHugh, who with this little mustache facial hair thing on, he looks like a real seaman. Like he just rolled off the docks and he's out there crab fishing. But he's not, he's representing our adventure riding. He stands at a commanding six foot, weighs in at 220 pounds and has a 44 inch chest. He's wearing the Carlsbad in a size large. No surprises there. He wears large across the board and climb. If you're using that size chart, it should correlate perfectly. He's wearing the pants in a size 34, same size that he wears in his jeans. Again, fits him spot on. From a jacket standpoint, sizes are gonna run from a small up to a 3XL, and the pants will run from a 30 to a 42. There's gonna be four different colors available for the jacket, three different colors available for the pants. Now, as we work our way through this, the main changes that you're gonna see over the previous Carlsbad. The first thing is that the Gore-Tex is now improved. It's gonna be an FPL 400 over a 200, and this is gonna be the same Gore-Tex waterproofing that we're seeing in the Badlands Pro. Um, so more breathable, and yet there's less water coming in. So really the beefed up version of the Gore-Tex you're gonna see here, all the armor has been upgraded to CE Level 2 D3O. So the previous version was CE Level 1. You now have CE Level 2 at the elbows, the shoulders, and the back included with the jacket. And you're now gonna have beefier 630D um, material at the side. This is gonna be ripstop nylon. And it, where the previous version, it kind of stopped halfway down. You're now gonna see this ripstop go all the way down. And again, it's 630 versus the 500. What I like about this, it's still lightweight. You can still move around. You're not getting the stretch that you would see with the, uh, the Baja S4, but it's not nearly as heavy or as beefy as something where you'd bump up to the Badlands. So really focused on the mobility you need for off-road riding. So those upgrades that you're gonna see there from a protection standpoint, from an abrasion resistance standpoint, from an impact protection standpoint, as well as from a comfort standpoint when you're talking about the improved Gore-Tex, that is really what you're getting for that $50 bump. So for me, well worth the uh, the cost for all the addition that you're seeing here. Now you're also getting a style upgrade, and when we talk about comfort upgrades, from a ventilation standpoint, as we work our way down the body on this, you're gonna see improved vents along the side here. It's not gonna be covered from a panel, so you're gonna have improved venting at the, at the chest. And then as we just take a look down the arm, this zipper on the pre-production sample isn't a two-way zip. When you get this as a production, you're gonna have a two-way zip at the arm. You're gonna have adjuster at the cuff. This is great because you really want that adjusted nice and tight. Not so tight that you're getting arm pump when you're riding off-road, but tight enough that that D3 armor stays in place. And I like the improved venting on this. You no longer have the little flap that sits over the side. So you can really get a lot of airflow coming through pushing up the arm, and like I said earlier, pushing through the chest without those flaps over top. Asymmetry coming into play with the jacket. 
large side pocket over on the left hand side, smaller stash pocket here. The little climb logo on top of a storage pocket, that is going to be for your spot tracking device. Now the change that they made here is they realized that the previous location, it was hard to get to if you crashed on the wrong arm. So where it's located right now in your chest, you can reach over and you can hit it with any arm uh, despite where you might have crashed and injured a certain arm. So they've changed the location for that so it's a little bit easier to reach. Now, the other thing you'll note are the little hooks that you're gonna have on top. This is straight off of the Badlands Pro. If you're like myself, um, you don't want the, uh, the jacket zipped all the way up when you're riding off road. You want that airflow coming through. You don't want to have to worry about moving around and hitting your collar all the time. So now what you have are you have these little loops that actually kind of snap into place and, oops, sorry there Pat, I kind of snapped the back on you. That's just going to hold the jacket open for you. So if you're riding in warmer weather, you can put that there, you can hold that open. I love that addition. You're also going to have Velcro water resistant pockets. Um, I say water resistant because while they, they should be waterproof, you do have little areas where water can push through and you have hand warmer pockets that run behind there. Now you'll also notice blacked out pops reflectivity throughout the jacket as well. So I'll move my hand out of the way so you can see it, but you are gonna have little blacked out pieces of reflective throughout the entire jacket. I'm gonna leave that open for you right now, Mr. McHugh. Go ahead and face sideways for me, strike the riding position. You're gonna have a drawstring adjuster on the inside of this, but no external Velcro. Again, they're trying to eliminate anything that might catch while you are riding off-road. Taking a look down the, X, or the outside of the arms, you can really get a clear shot of how they have extended that ripstop nylon. Again, that 630 works its way all the way down the arm to maximize abrasion resistance and eliminate fail points. With the old, the old Carlsbad kind of had a stop point on here. This works its way all the way down. Nice little addition. And then you're gonna have the exhaust fence along the side without having those flaps that cover it up. So really improving comfort. Sir, you can go ahead and face backwards for me. The main addition you're gonna see in the back is just the fact that it is now gonna be that CE level two back protector. Really clean lines, drop seat. And if you look down to the bottom of the pants, it's gonna carry all the way down to the back as well. That rip stop is gonna be included at the back of the seat. You're gonna have the, uh, the openings for uh, exhaust vents at the back. You will be able to try this on with uh, knee braces. If you are riding aggressively off-road, chances are you've upgraded the knee braces. The one thing I would recommend for you, depending on the size of your knee braces, if you're trying the pants on and you plan on wearing them with knee braces, make sure that you try them on with your knee braces before you go out and ride. Once you ride in the pants, you can't send them back. So if you decide that they're not gonna work with the braces you're using, you wanna make sure you can send those back before you use them. But there is gonna be CE level armor in the hips and the knees included with this particular pair of pants. Mr. McHugh, I'm gonna have you face forward for me. Look at you, you're already unzipping without, you are a professional model if I've ever seen one. So on the inside, additional storage pockets, you are going to have uh, the option to add a kidney belt. And what we really didn't talk about was the, uh, the little special document pocket on uh, Mr. McHugh's left-hand side. What you're gonna have here is just a little storage space. If you wanna add your credit cards, there's a little flap hidden behind there. If you wanna store anything that's kinda of like out of the way, if you're crossing borders, chances are you just wanna kinda of keep some of your more important documents hidden. The other thing that Climb does is they have a special storage pocket in the back, which is gonna be underneath the back protector. So if you are somewhere where it might be a little bit of a sketchier area and you wanna store your cash, that's a pocket where you can put your cash and it's very hard to find Unless, of course, the, uh, the thieves just steal your entire jacket and then you're just out of luck. But it'll probably be in a bigger problem if that happens. You go ahead and zip up for me, Mr. McHugh. Now, I wanna take just a quick look down the front of this. So you will see you do have the interior vents coming at the front. The slash to the side pockets um, is not gonna be a, uh, a waterproof option. You're not gonna have a water resistant zip, but it is a zip pocket to that. And then again, you are gonna have that rip stop at the knees with the additional leather on the inside. The one thing that I can't say enough about climb pants, because I've worn a variety of pants off-road, I've crashed in a wide variety of pants off-road. Um, climbs have, to my opinion, held up the best. Uh, I have climb pants that I have used and abused for two, three years, and, I'm, and they're still kicking. Um, and I mean like used and abused. So as far as I'm concerned, some of the beefiest stuff out there, while the price point is a little bit more on the expensive side, an investment here is something that can take all the abuse you throw its way. So for those of you out there that are not quite sure whether or not this is the right option for you, you wanna hear more about what other riders have to say about climb, I'd recommend hitting the little info, or the little info button 
button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting Climb through its paces. You can always reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455. Shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. They can walk you through all the different options within Climb's catalog to make sure that you have the right setup for the style of riding that you're really looking to achieve. I want to thank you for joining uh, myself and my fisherman buddy here for the look at the Climb Carlsbad jacket and pants. I'm Spurge. This is Smiley Pants McHugh. Enjoy the ride.